All right, so uh, we're going to call this lesson 211 part 3. Um, the uh, important word here is the vocabulary word linear, which means points lying on the same line. Um, and if you look at this graph, you will see that A, B, and C are all on the same line. So those three points are collinear. Now, um, any two points are collinear, so that's not a big deal. Uh, and you can see that by like A and D, uh, they go through the same point. Any two points are collinear. Um, it's more of a big deal if three points are collinear. Then, then we can do a little bit more with that. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to try and find a way without graphing of whether the three points below are collinear. And uh, then we're going to explain our method. Well, if you look back up here at these points, and let's say I put this line, so it goes through all three of those points, and I clone this line. Notice that the line that goes through those two points, say it's that one, and the line that goes through those two points, that one, uh, they line up which means, uh, and if I was to separate those two lines out, we notice that they're parallel. And from the last lesson, we found that parallel lines have the same slope. So uh, if these two points, uh, the line between those two points have the same slope, let's call that we use the letter M for slope, so let's call that M sub 1 for our slope 1. If that's the same as this slope between these two points, M sub 2, then um, we know that those three points are collinear. So we're going to use our slope formula, where we take our Y values, which in our slope 1, that would be 26 minus 5, and 10 minus 3. And that's uh, 21 divided by 7, which is 3. So the slope between uh, the first two points, m sub 1 is 3. And our slope 2 is equal to, we're going to subtract two y values, 26 minus 20. Subtract the x values, 10 minus 8. And we get 6 over 2, which is 3. And since our two slopes, our slope 1 is equal to our slope 2, we know the points are collinear. All right. So uh, I'm going to let you try these, figure out if they're collinear by finding uh, the slope between those and the slope between those, and if it's the same, then they're collinear. And you can do that on number nine also. You can do those problems in class. All right. That is the end of part three and the end of uh, lesson two one one.